Welcome to the Matt Show, where we interview appearance actors, authors, and characters from your movies and books. Today we'll be doing the color purple. Yeah. Okay, for our first interview, we have Shaw Gabriel. Why were you so mean to Sadie when you first met her? I was mean to them because I was in love with Albert, and they were married, so obviously I'd be mean to her. But then in the end I realized that I really don't lo love Albert, because he's not a real man. So, what made you change your mind about Sadie? What made me change my mind about Sadie was the fact that me singing at Harpo's made me happy and put me in a good mood, so I just figured I'd be nice to everyone. Also, seeing the way Sydney looked at me when I was singing made me realize the errors in my ways. So I just started looking at her. So, what made you decide to leave? Um, well, singing at Harpo's reminded me of when I was on the road back a few years ago. And also, I miss the fast-paced life. What made you and CD want to move to Memphis? Well, we were in love, and we wanted to get away from Albert because he was just putting stress on all of us. Okay. What made you leave CD for an 18-year-old? Well, I was on the road a lot, and CD couldn't come with me, so I just found him in, and it was convenient. And I was getting sort of old, so it was my last chance to have a fling. And Silly was at home working out her pants. Yeah. So why did you come back? I came back home because I was getting old, and also Jermaine had to go to college, so there was no one to be with. And also, I had to be there for Silly because she was upset over her sister and the kids dying. I need to see from the book. Should we tell him now? I, I think we should. That's what? Me and Celia are moving to Memphis together. No wife of mine is moving to Memphis. I never want to be a wife of yours. Shut up. <gasps> Curse you. What's that mean? Until you do right by me, everything you touch will crumble. Haha, <laughs> who do you think you is? You can't curse anybody. You black, you ugly, you poor, you're a woman. Damn, you ain't nothing. Until you do right by me, everything you even dream of will fail. Who ever heard of such a thing? I probably didn't whoop your ass enough. Every lick you hit me, you'll suffer twice. Cause all that I'm saying ain't coming from me. Crap, she locked you up. The jail you planned for me is the one in which you will rot. Don't say no more. You're just making it harder on yourself. I'll fix your wagon. Me is already done to you. Really? I'm poor, I'm black, and I may be ugly and can't cook, but I'm here. Amen. And for our next interview, we have Mr. Oh, damn. Welcome to our show. Thank you. So, everybody wants to know, why did you marry Celie? Well, I was supposed to marry Nettie, right? But her father wouldn't let me. She said to marry some ugly girl named Celie. Well, I came to see her a couple of times. But stuff started to get hard with the children, so I married to you. How did you feel about Sophia? Well, I didn't want Harper to marry her. She was too much of an independent woman. Kind of like, sure. What was it like when they got married against your will? Well, I was hot, happy that they were suffering. You know, they ended up living in the shed with five kids. Well, Sophia left him. You know, came back with a new boyfriend. And knocked out 
uh, Harpo's girlfriend. Um, why did you keep stealing the letters from Addy? Well, she wouldn't give me some, so I promised you that she wouldn't hear from her again. And I kept my promise. I gave one anyway. It was Eddie and sh the children died at sea. Well, now we're friends now, so I gave it to Eddie. Why did you change your evil ways? Well, after 20 years, so Sophie came back. And Shug and Siri were planning to go to Memphis. I said no, of course. And then Siri cursed me. Well, bad things started to happen. And to, you know, I don't want to go insane, so I changed my ways. Well, it's nice to have you on the show. Let's go into our first commercial break. Siri's pants. We have pants of all colors, sizes, and styles for men and women. We got multicolor, black, beige, gray. Pants of all different colors and sizes for your enjoyment. <laughs> Please welcome our next guest, Celia.